Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a whole review and swatches on Kylie Cosmetics, Kylie Jenner's makeup brand. I have had so many requests to do this video and I know I'm like super late to this video. A thousand other people already have a video just like this, but it's just been so, 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 so requested that I thought I should do it. And everyone's opinion is different, so if you're interested in knowing my opinion of the brand, then this is it. I'm gonna be talking about the Kai Shadow Palette, her eyeliners, the pencils, and the pots, her matte liquid lipsticks, her glosses, and then a couple of her metallic ones. I'm also gonna be talking about her lip liners as well because I have some of those. The whole shebang. I don't have everything. Some of these items were sent to me, some of these I purchased myself. Not that you guys care about that because you know that my opinion is not swayed based on if it was sent to me for free or not. If you want to see specific reviews, like if you don't care about the lip stuff, you want to see the Kai Shadow Palette only, like if you want to get to the actual part of the video you really want to see, I will have timestamps in the description box. I almost feel like I should have waited before filming this video because I know she's releasing like four or five new lip kits. There's like a green one and then a ton of other beautiful colors that I definitely want to get my hands on. But her stuff sells out so fast, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get my hands on it. I don't know if it's gonna be sent to me because sometimes things aren't and some, I, I just don't know. So I decided to just sit down and film this video today. So I am gonna start with the lip products just because I feel like that is what her brand is known for. And while I'm reviewing each individual color, I will insert lip swatches as well because I know you guys like that. So I'm gonna start off with the Kylie glosses. I have four of them. I'm not exactly sure how many she has in her line, but I have four. And the first one I want to swatch is called So Cute, and this one is my favorite. Really quickly, I want to touch base on the packaging. I freaking love the Kylie Jenner packaging. I think it's really cool. I really like the drips. I think the whole packaging, whether you like Kylie Jenner or not, I think the packaging is pretty freaking cool. I don't love the wand on the lip glosses. I know that there was a huge scandal because so many people got like messed up wands, but luckily she did fix that. I'm just still not a huge fan of the brush style wand. Natasha Denona has amazing lip glosses with that wand and it's not my favorite. I prefer a doe foot applicator, but because these glosses are so, so pigmented, I think that's why they use that wand. This color is my favorite. These glosses kind of threw me off at first, I'm not gonna lie. When I first started applying them, it was so much pigment. I was kind of turned off by that because I'm someone who really likes a glossy finish. They're the ones that have enough pigmentation where you can use them on their own, but I like them a little bit sheer to where they top off a lipstick really, really nicely. These, I feel, are the type of lip glosses you're gonna wanna wear just on their own. Now, if you put on a lipstick and then you put on just a light layer of these glosses, it won't be too bad. I still like them, I really do. I just have a few other lip glosses in my collection that I do prefer. I don't think they're sticky either. They're not uncomfortable to wear. They just goop up a little bit on the inner corners. These glosses would also work really well if you just add a little bit of lip liner, fill in your lips, and then add a little bit of this on top. I think it's nice. But anyway, enough about that. That is just my opinion on these glosses. Let me show you the other colors on my lips. So Cute though is definitely my favorite shade. I just love the undertone. I think it is like the perfect nude. Next up we have Exposed. This is a very, very warm, almost brown lip gloss, but I would still categorize this as a nude on my skin tone. I think this color is unique. It's really nice. I don't really have any other gloss that is this color, and it does look really pretty on the lips. These do last a pretty good time. They're not one of those lip glosses that fade right away. Another thing I would say I don't necessarily love about these, the fact that they are so pigmented, it's kind of hard to just slap them on and go. What I love so much about lip glosses is that you can apply them without a mirror, you know, like without even thinking about it, you just put it on your lips. With these, I can't really do that. I don't know, I just think it's like too much. But I mean, it just depends on personal preference. It all depends on how you like to wear your gloss. We all like different glosses for different reasons, you know? This next one is Coco K, and I really, really like this one too. I just think it's so feminine and soft, and I love that it has that little shine to them. If you want a super, super long-wearing, glossy lip, this paired with Coco K Matte Liquid Lipstick is awesome. Like, it literally lasts all day, and I just really, 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 really love this color. And then the last one I have is Candy K. It's the same color as her Matte Liquid Lipstick in Candy K. I don't know why, but for some reason, I'm not a huge fan of the Candy K colors. The liquid lipstick and the gloss. And it has nothing to do with formula, it's just the color for some reason doesn't call my name and I feel like it's one of her most popular colors. It looks so beautiful on everyone else, but on me, like, I don't love it. I don't know why. But yes, those are the Kylie glosses and I would give them probably like a C rating. 
Okay, so now I want to talk about the two metal matte lipsticks. These are just like her liquid lipsticks, only they have a metallic finish to them. I'm actually wearing Air right now on top of her Dirty Peach lip liner. So I have a love-hate relationship with these. I love the colors. I think they're so unique, both of them. This is Kai Majesty and this one is Air, like I said. They're so stunning. They are beautiful. But the formula throws me off just a little bit. I love the fact that they dry down. They don't stay weird or goopy. But they are just a little bit patchy. Like, when I'm applying these, I'll notice that in certain spots on my lips, it looks really, really metallic. But then on other spots of my lips, you could really see my lip through it. Like, it looks patchy and uneven. But I find that to be the case with a lot of metallic lipsticks. It must be really, really hard to create a metallic lip that dries completely matte because there's some consistencies with a ton of brands when it comes to metallic lips and these just don't look the most flattering on the lips but I really love them because I love the color like I love air I think it's so pretty and I've worn it a couple times I just have to really work with it to make it work but yeah I mean I also like that they don't feel drying on the lips like at all to me I feel like the metallic lips feel even smoother than the other ones but I mean I don't know I really I don't know how to feel Okay, so now let's move on to her matte liquid lipsticks. I have 10 colors to share with you. I don't have all of her liquid lipsticks, like I said. I also have a few lip liners that I will be discussing as well. So the first lip kit I'm going to be talking about is Dirty Peach. I have the lip liner and I have the liquid lipstick. If I do have the matching lip liner, I will show you in the lip swatches me applying the lip liner first and then the liquid lipstick on top, just so you can see how they both apply. I wore the Dirty Peach liquid lipstick the other day in a makeup tutorial, and it was the first time I had tried it on, and it was super neon. It looks like a very soft peach in the packaging, but for some reason, like uh, at least on my lips, it's very peach. It's like peach. But with the Dirty Peach lip liner underneath, it kind of tones down the neonness. Most of her lip liners match perfectly to the liquid lipstick, but this one is different. The Dirty Peach lip liner is a little bit deeper, a little bit more of that dirty looking peach, while the liquid lipstick is a little bit more out there and peachy. So I love this lip liner. Like I said, it's what I'm wearing underneath air, and I definitely see myself using this lip liner all the time. The formula of these lip liners kind of remind me of the ColourPop ones, in the sense that they're very creamy and really easy to apply. So if you are looking for an alternative to these, because these are pretty pricey, I would definitely look to ColourPop. And as for the matte liquid lipsticks, a lot of you guys have been asking me my opinion, and I like it. I do like the formula. I have to be completely honest, I'm not extremely picky when it comes to liquid lipsticks. I don't mind a dry liquid lip as long as it doesn't crumble off. When things get so dry that they become like little balls and like fall off your face and onto your chin, that's what I don't like. I don't have that with any of these liquid lipsticks. I don't get that crumbliness. Now, of course, everyone is different. That's just my personal experience. And I also don't think that they're identical to the ColourPop formula. I know a lot of people say that they're exact dupes. The ColourPop ones are a little bit more drying than these. I don't know if she changed the formula. I don't know how her old formula was. I'm not sure, but there's a little bit more moisture to these versus the ColourPop ones, just like a little bit. Okay, so let's talk about my favorite one out of all of them. This is Exposed. I even spoke about this in my monthly favorites video. I love this color. I don't have a liquid lipstick that looks anything like this. At least I don't think I do. I might, but I love this like really warm brown nude. On me, it is darker than what it looks in the tube. That's the case for a lot of these, but I've seen this look so light on everyone, but it pulls a little bit dark on me. I've worn this one all day and I've never had any problems with it crackling or crumbling. They can feel a little bit drying, but it's nothing that's too bad. Next up is brown sugar, and I love, love this one. I have the matching lip liner as well. This is just a stunning brown color. On me, it is a little bit darker than how it looks on so many people. And I just love this shade for fall. It is one of her newer colors. Not like super brand new, but I think it's perfect for this time of year. It screams fall to me. Like, I love these kinds of browns for the fall time. And I definitely see myself wearing this shade a ton. Next up is Coco K. This is one of her, like, original colors. This is the color that as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I think I might buy Kylie Cosmetics. Because before this color, I wasn't, like, super impressed with the other ones. Like, Candy K didn't really scream my name. Oh, another con about air is that if it's on your lips too long it will kind of create like a little weird rim on the inside also don't love that about air i don't love that but anyway it's so pretty because i feel like it's the kind of color that looks great with so many different eye looks but it still stands out on your lips it's not a nude but it's not a super bold in your face color either it's the perfect everyday shade that has a little bit of purple a little bit of mauve a little bit of pink and i think it looks good on so many different people as well next up is candy k this is one of my least favorite colors i don't know what it is like i said it's just not 
my favorite. I don't know how to explain it. I don't really love it on me, but it does look so pretty on so many different people. And I've heard tons and tons of people rave about this color. So yes, that is Candy K. Next up is another favorite of mine. It is Ginger, one of her newer colors. I love this color. It kind of reminds me of Anastasia Beverly Hill Ashton. I could be completely wrong. Maybe they're completely different colors, but in my mind when I look at it, it reminds me of Ashton, which Ashton is probably my all-time favorite ABH liquid lipstick ever. This is the epitome of a Kathleen fall shade. I love colors like this in the fall. It has a warm undertone, which I really love. I prefer this trend over like the mauve trend, personally. I really, really love, love, love this color. I think she does such a great job of coming up with colors, I will say. There's some colors I'm not impressed with, but most of them I really, really like. Next up is Kristen, and I have the matching lip liner as well. This one is also really, really beautiful. I mean, there's nothing much to say about it. I've already told you what I feel about the formula, but I love this color as well. I think it's so pretty, and I think that this would look so nice on everyone. Literally every single person I think would look so beautiful in Kristen. I just think it's a really nice flattering color and this is definitely something that I'm gonna be gravitating towards a lot this fall and winter. And I also really like the lip liner as well. I didn't have any issues with formula. Next up is Posey K. And I think there was like an article somewhere, I think it was like Perez Hilton or something like that where they said Lumiere 2 was a dupe for Posey K. I got really, really excited when I read that by the way. I was like, oh my gosh, they're talking about Lumiere 2 and I was so excited. I personally don't think they are exact dupes of one another. Lumiere 2 pulls very, very purple on my lips while this one is a little bit more on the pinky side. This definitely has a purple tone to it, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's as purple as Lumiere 2. Still a stunning, stunning, stunning color. So wearable. Next up is Love Bite, and I have the matching lip liner as well. I don't love the lip liner of Love Bite, I have to say. I think it's because it's a darker color. I didn't have a problem with any of the other lip liners, but this one is a little bit patchy on my lips. Actually, like a lot of bit patchy on my lips. I don't love the lip liner. I would just go ahead and skip on this, honestly. I have so many dark lip liners in my collection that aren't patchy. One of my favorite things to do is to grab a lip liner and fill in my entire lips with it and just run out the door without a lip gloss, without a lipstick on top, just pure lip liner. It can be a little bit drying, but I find that that lasts so long. Lip liners last forever on your lips, so I love using them alone. This is one of those colors that I cannot use on its own because it's just too patchy, and I just, I don't, don't, I just don't like the lip liner. But I do like the liquid lipstick in Love Bite. It's kind of like a dirty purple. I really, really love the color of this. I love the undertone, and I, I just, I love this shade. This is another color that would look so nice on everyone, like on everyone, I love it. And then the last color I have to talk about is the shade Freedom. It's a dark, kind of navy, royal blue. I have the matching lip liner as well, and I have to say that I don't like this lip liner. When you apply it and you try to rub your lips together, it kind of transfers, like it'll take off lip liner on your top lip and then transfer it to the bottom lip. So weird, it was kind of throwing me off. I don't like it when lip liners do that, and this lip liner does that. It was incredibly patchy, so hard to work with. I don't know if it's because it's blue that it was harder to make or something. I'm not exactly sure, but I really did not like this lip liner. And the liquid lipstick in Freedom is okay. If I'm gonna be completely honest, I prefer the blue from Too Faced. They have liquid lipsticks as well, and they have a really pretty dark blue. I did a tutorial using it. I prefer that blue over this one. This one is a little weird. I feel like on my lips, it doesn't dry completely 100% matte like the other ones do. Okay, so we are done with the liquid lipsticks. I'm sorry that portion of the video was so long. I'm gonna quickly run through everything else. I wanna talk about the Kai Shadow palette really quick. This is the bronze edition. I'm not sure if she's gonna come out with like a smoky one soon or something like that, but this one is the bronze palette. This retails for $42, which it is pretty pricey, but you are getting nine eyeshadows, so if you do the math, it's not terrible. I like this palette. I actually think it's pretty freaking good. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. These are the only shadows on my eyes right now. And I really, really like the quality, specifically of the matte eyeshadows. I think the matte eyeshadows are awesome. They blend really, really well. I didn't have any problems with patchiness, nothing. The shimmer shades are not the best. I have Morphe shimmer eyeshadows that are better than these, and Morphe is like half the price. But with that being said, there are only two shimmer shades in the palette. So, you know, the good ones are the matte ones, and most of this palette is matte. I'm wearing this shade on my lid right now, which is a shimmery one, and it just didn't pack as much punch as I wanted it to. Same goes with this shimmer shade, but I really do love the matte shades, I'm not gonna lie. I also really love that she has kind of like a matte 
light bone color and a matte black shade. I think every palette needs a light matte color and then a black matte color, no matter what palette it is. And I know a lot of people were thinking like, I have a million bone colors in my collection. I have a million black eyeshadows in my collection. But when I'm taking one palette to go with me, I want those shades in my palette. So I really, really appreciate that. I think the packaging is pretty cool. And I actually like that there's no mirror to this personally. I like cardboard packaging without a mirror. If it's a plastic packaging or like a metal packaging or something like that, then yes, I prefer a mirror. I'd rather you put a mirror in there. But when it's cardboard, I prefer no mirror just because, like, this is my Too Faced Co Contour Kit. Like, oh look, a broken mirror. Every time I have cardboard packaging and there's a mirror in it, I freaking break it. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm too rough and I don't know, but I don't mind that there's no mirror. I always use my own separate mirror anyway. So yeah, oh, I forgot to tell you, I would give the liquid lipsticks kind of like a B. The Kai Shadow Palette, I would give it also kind of, I would give it like a C plus. I would give it like a B like a solid B. Maybe a B minus because I don't love the shimmer shades. Finally, the last thing we'll be talking about are her gel pot eyeliners and then her pencil eyeliners. I have the shade brown and I also have the shade black. Two very basic colors but very essential colors. I will say though really quickly that I really love the packaging. I love how she wrote Kylie all over the top and then it says like Kylie on the side. I think the packaging is really cute and I love the cap. I am wearing this on my eyes right now. This is the winged eyeliner I did. I used the brown one just to give it a little bit of a different twist. And I'm not a huge fan of the pot. I think it is a little bit drying, a little bit hard to work with. It's not patchy or anything, but I feel like I have to tug at my eyes to get a smooth application. She also sells an eyeliner brush that I ended up giving away to a friend because I didn't really like it. It was kind of too thick for me. I prefer an angled eyeliner brush that's very, very, very thin. That one wasn't as thin as I would like it to be, but it's not bad. I. I don't hate this. I just think it could be a little bit creamier. Maybe with a little bit of Duraline from Inglot. That would really make a huge difference. That's probably what I'm going to end up doing to this. And then the same goes with the black one. It's just a little bit too drying for me. These aren't the best. I prefer my Maybelline liquid eyeliner that's in a pot like this. Or the Inglot one. That one is so creamy and so easy to apply. And after using the Inglot one consecutively and then using this black one, it was like, whoa, whoa. That's, a, that's different. The eyeliners though are pretty good. I really like them. I'm wearing the black one on my waterline today and they're very, very creamy. They glide on really easily. Really similar to the ColourPop ones. Personally, I think that the ColourPop ones are a little bit better. I find that the ColourPop eyeliners last longer on my waterline than these do. But yes, unlike the pots, these are not drying at all. I really, really like these and I will definitely continue to use them. But yeah, so that completes this video. I'm sorry it was so long, but you know, there was a lot of information I wanted to give out. These were just my opinions on products from Kylie Cosmetics. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think that's all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. These glosses would work. These glo These glosses would also work. <laughs> What's happening? I'm actually wearing hair. That's not even how you say it. Air. I'm doing this new thing now where if I don't know how to pronounce something, all I have to do is freaking Google it, and I learn how to pronounce it. How easy is that? What? I, I, on top of her dirty peach lip liner. What? <laughs>